Hello and welcome back to another MySQL tutorial. So here we're going to learn how to back up a MySQL database, an important task. So here we're going to be utilizing PHP My Admin, and I will also show you how to back up and restore using SQL. Okay, so inside of PHP My Admin, so make sure you've got your server turned on, and then it's localhost forward slash PHP My Admin. Inside of here, I'm going to select my database I want to back up and then just sub select export. So from here, I'm just going to select the format I want to export my database as. So if I know that I'm going to going to export this database and then import it back into another MySQL database system, then SQL would be a good choice. You can see all the other options that might be available. Um, so SQL, typically the default choice and press go. And then I just need to decide where I want to save this. So if we just have a look at the file, you can see that this is a PHP MyAdmin SQL dump. You'll notice that comments are, are made uh, with dash denoting a comment. And then we have all different aspects here, set time, and then we have database. So this again is commented. So if you were going to recreate um, this SQL or import this SQL, here you'd have to actually generate your own database. So this isn't going to actually generate a database. This is only going to generate the data inside a database. So create table. So you can see the command. So we create a new table and then we insert some values. So let's go back now and try and import this. So this is in my downloads. I'm just going to put this onto my, drag it onto my desktop. Okay, so let's now delete this database. I'll double click and drop this database. Okay, so like I said, you, you can't just run this script. If I try and import this script um, from my desktop and then I click on go, you can see that there's an error because it's there's no database selected. So when you use the export like this, you'll need to create a database. Luckily, it tells you what database you need to create if you want to replicate the system. So here we just need to then go back to home uh, select, select new, user stats, press create, make sure then we select the database and then import the file that we just exported. So from here, just press go. And now we have our database recreated. So how can this be replicated uh, using commands? So if you're not running PHP my admin. So inside of the XAMPP, control panel, we can access the shell. And from here, we can access the database using the command line. So here's what we need. We need to first go into the command prompt or the shell. And inside of it, we've got my SQL dump. So we're going to do a my SQL dump. We're going to select the database we want to dump and then create a new SQL file like we did with PHP my admin. So first of all, we type in MySQL dump or this command or these codes, this code will be in the description below the video. And we have double dash user equals root, double dash password. There is no password for this database. So that logs us in. And then basically we select the database we want to back up. And then we have the right chevron. And then we name the file we want to make. And then the file extension. So this is going to make a backup like we did with PHP my admin. So the, the data is here or the file is going to be stored in the root file of where XAMPP is installed. So I run that. If I go back into my XAMPP folder on the C drive, you'll find if I scroll down, there's a new file here called userstats.sql. Okay, so that's where it's saved. So just get rid of that. So now if I want to restore it, uh, well, let's first of all, let's just go into 
the database. So we can go into the actual database system, type it in MySQL, user equals root. We don't need all of this, but I'm just going to follow this pattern. Password equals nothing. So I'm in. Uh, so now I'm inside of a database. Um, I can now obviously show the databases. Oh, there we go. So that's all the databases. So I now want to delete user stats. So how do I delete user stat stats? I just type in the word drop database and then define what I want to drop or delete. Okay. And there we go. So now that's dropped. So I can just check that. Okay. So now a database has been dropped. I'm just going to quit this and then close that. So imagine we now want to recreate this. So let's go back into the shell. And now what we want to do is obviously we need to first build the database. So we can do that one or two ways. We could go into the system and type in what we need, user stats, or we could just do it directly from here. So here we're going to type in this command. So again, we log in and now we create a database called user stats. There we go. So now we have a database called user stats. So all we need to do now is take our file and run the file. So user root password again, nothing. So here we've got data base is going to be um, user stats. So we select the database we want to uh, recreate the data for, and then we select the SQL file that we created earlier. So that's going to import it into this database and recreate the database as it was originally. And there we go. So we'll just close that and have a look. And you can see that we've got a new database called user stats and everything is back as it was. Okay. Okay. So there we go. We now know how to back up or create a very simple backup, um, utilizing PHP, my admin and utilizing SQL.